Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Blue Eddy EP500 Pros. We're going to put these things together. We're going to get 240 volts. I'm going to show you how you guys can get 240 volt using the split phase fusion box. This device right here allows you to connect to your transfer switch to your home and power your home using 240 volt or you have two individual 30 amp 120 volt plugs and you have four 120 volt 15 amp plugs or 20 amp plugs guys let's show you this thing let's hook it up to my transfer switch we're not going to be doing a load test i'm just going to show you guys how to hook it up and to show you guys that you do have 240 volt using this device so that's it right here it's from blue eddy so like i said you have four 120 volt 20 amp two rv 30 amp and one 240 volt 30 amp max plug so hook this up to your transfer switch you can power your house i'm also going to show you guys this cable right here using this cable you can charge a two ep500 pros at the same time using one 240 volt generator so no longer do you have to worry about one dying before the other you can actually plug this in it will charge and it will run the load off the generator before it uses the battery right here so during the day you could charge your ep500 together or whichever one needs the power if this one's 100 percent and that one's 80 percent it will charge this one by itself and it will also run the load and i'm going to show you all this right now i'm going to bring a generator outside hook it up we're going to connect this thing and then i'm going to hook it up to my home and show you how you would do that also using the transfer switch so let's get started first let's connect this i'll show you guys how it works and how you connect it Okay guys, so I got the EP500 side by side. Got your split place, the fusion box right here. That's the cable for the generator charging. This cable right here is already connected to my transfer switch. I'll show you. So the yellow cable is connected to my transfer switch, which will go to my 10 loads to my home, okay? Okay, so you guys verify that this is connected to my transfer switch. I'm going to do it out here. It's so much brighter out here. It's dark in the garage. And plus, I'm using the uh, Yamaha, the 6300 watt. This has 240 volt. If you're going to do this, make sure your switch is on 240. It will not work on 120. All right, so we're going to be using this plug. This is going to be connected to the generator. And the generator is going to charge these two devices at the same time. Turn them on. First thing you're going to do is put your fusion box split phase. Let's connect this one right here. Just line it up. Connect that. Twist. Come to the next one. So we have one connected to the first EP500. The second one connected to the fusion box. We're going to put it right here so we can reach it with our transfer switch extension cord normally this would be inside just bear with me next thing you're going to do these you have to connect the communication cable so you would come down here open this the communication cable connects like this second communication cable line it up it's keyed Tighten these. Okay, once you have your communication cable hooked up, now we're going to hook up our generator AC cable. It goes right here. You guys see there's two white dots. We're going to line those up. There you go. Go to the second one. Line those up. Secure it. All, way. All right. So you have your generator charging or AC charging and communication cable. This right here, I can also put solar and it will charge off solar as well. We're not going to be showing that. We're just going to be showing the uh, 240 volt fusion box. 
and we're going to show you how you can use a generator to actually charge this because somebody made a comment they said if you're using one leg one box will actually drain before the other one and that is true but if you're using solar or generator or even ac input because you can actually plug this in to, to your to your your home if you have 240 volt and run these off your ac from your home once you lose power it will transfer to the box all right so now everything's hooked up you just come you push turn the power on turn the power on it's going to do its thing they are 100 percent let's go to settings let's go to settings and over here in settings, hit next, working mode, machine type. See right here, it says split phase. So you select split phase on each machine. Split phase. That's how you get your 240 volts. You go back home, home, and you turn your AC on. It should turn both of them on. Come right here to turn AC on. All right, once you turn AC on, your fusion box lights up green. That means you have 240 volt. Now, you come over here and you can connect to your uh, 240. Twist it to lock. Okay, so now we have power going to the house. I'm going to turn it on, turn on some loads so we can see everything going on right there, what we're drawing from each box. Let's turn it on. Hey okay, guys, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to turn on my refrigerator. And see, this is line and then generator. So all you have to do is just flip it up and it will take power from the uh, EP500 EP Pros. So you just go to generator. I have my refrigerator, my living room, my detached garage. This is my entire kitchen, the microwave, this garage and my gates, master bedroom. And then that's the guest bedroom. I'm not going to turn that on because there's computers in there right now. So we have all these loads. Let me make sure everything's being powered. Okay, guys, so we got everything turned on. As you can see right here, I hope you guys can see this because it's kind of bright outside. And these don't project light as good in the light. We're pulling 365 here. And over here, we're pulling 550 watts. All right, so we're pulling a little bit more power today. It's warm. We got the fans on, ceiling fans, all the lights on. Still at 100. I'm going to wait for this to go down a little bit. And I'll continue the video. Let me get to like about 98% so I can fire up the generator and show you guys right here. Once you turn on the generator or you plugged into grid, it no longer uses your, gener your um, battery. It starts charging your battery and running off the grid at the same time. So we're pulling 550 right here. And on this one, we're pulling 365. So what someone thought was since this one's pulling more power, this is gonna go down faster. So what happens when this one drains all the way and that one still has a little bit more power? You lose your 240 because now you only have one leg. That's where the generator or solar comes in. Once you have solar or your generator or AC grid plugged in, it always keeps both of them charged. So I'm gonna demonstrate that shortly once we go down to a, a, a little bit lower. It's at 100%. Okay, guys, we're down to 98% on this one. I think I can go ahead and demonstrate you guys how that would work. I always say, start your generator first. All right. Come over here. Connect your... Uh, 
Okay, guys. So we are running off the generator. You can see that we went back to 100%. Grid is 229 and AC load is 239. So it's actually running all that off the generator. This one's at 99. So it's still charging at 1200, almost 1200, but it's supporting 435 on the AC load. So once it gets back to 100, you'll see it will stop charging the battery. And the 10 watts is from the cell phones being charged over here. All that is being powered from the generator. So once you shut your generator off, you'll see your AC load and your grid power. Uh, the, the AC load, the top one will go away. Like this one right here, it's 100%, so it's only pulling 230 to the from the grid and it's powering the exact same thing from the generator this one's pulling almost 1200 435 there you go it's, it just hit 99 so it's going down it's put a thousand watts once it gets to 100, you'll see it'll, it will only support the load. So that's one thing I really like about this, is the fact that you can use a generator and charge both of them and support both legs from the generator at the same time. So we just hit 100, you hit the generator shut down, slow down a little bit. Now it's only supporting the load. It's pulling 417 from the generator and it's sending 438 to the load. So everything is controlled. If I put PV, you'll see the PV come on and it will support the load as well. Let's see what happened if I shut off the generator. So I'm gonna come over here and shut the generator off. Okay, so you see the load is still on power in the house the generator went off so nothing's coming from the grid which represents the generator right now and the load from the home is still being powered but now we're back at 100 percent and it's still powering the home so once we go back down to say like 30 40 percent i just start the generator get it back up to 100 during the day and you're good use your generator and your Blue Eddy EP500 Pro together to power your home in a power outage situation. I hope you guys like this video. Just wanted to show you guys how you can use the split phase box, the fusion box, and two EP500 on a generator powering a transfer switch. Okay guys, if you like this video, as usual, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. Keep more videos like this coming. Guys, thanks for watching my videos. Have a great day. Bye.